I think that's an edge. Fantastic start for New Zealand and James Franklin. It wasn't a particularly good delivery. It was a bit wide and Joyce going for the cut has edged the ball through to McCollum. Running. That's a nice stroke. A confidence boost for Bell and England. Ball just slowing up. There's no doubt that that would have gone for four a couple of days ago, but the rain has made this outfield a little bit slower, but a confident start from Bell. Terrific shot. And that's Michael Vaughan at his very best. Fractionally short and quickly onto the ball, pulling it away in front of square. Shot. Shot of the morning so far. A delicious off drive from Vaughan. He looks in good touch. Edge. And he's gone. Second wicket for New Zealand. Or on the baller. And exactly what they would have wanted New Zealand, early wickets. Jacob Oram, the man to strike. Oh, there's a mix up here, and England have got away with it. Now, I don't know what was going on there, but that should have been the third wicket down. There you go. Anyone's going to catch that? They don't. Hasn't scored a one day hundred. He looks as if he's could be well on his way there. Really good shot over mid on for four. Well, he's played this on the length. And he was eyeing it up a couple of balls ago. Well, that's beautifully played. That's a top class adjustment because he was done for a moment here, Kevin Peterson. He started the action and he finished it in style. Just a rueful smile. And again, this time he's been smashed. Now that is a shot of real arrogance and dominance and a statement indeed. 50 up for England and what a way to bring it up. Yeah. Found him, he's dragged it on and the England skipper has made a mistake. The bottom edge off stump goes back and England have lost their third. Well, it's bad batting from Michael Vaughan. There's that lack of bounce. He's nearly dragged that on. He could get away with it. He could get four. He does. Just getting away through cover. And it was in the air. It's four and it's gone past Vincent. Now, is that a moment that New Zealand might rue? 70 for 3 after 20. It's in the air, it's chipped by Peterson. He should make it back for 2, it's good cricket. Chipping the ball in between the infield and the out. Big shot this time and I think it's paid off. Not the biggest boundaries here in St. Lucia. And that uh, six brings up the England hungry. Excellent placement, one bounce four. So England picking up the pace here. There's a bit of glove punching going on and after 30 overs, it's 112 for three. Not the other end. Overstepping, so another bonus, and New Zealand have not been good in that department today. And with that, uh, Peterson brings up 50. Crowd are on their feet. Because uh, Peterson's promise has come to fruition. It's been a good innings from Peterson. 73 deliveries it has taken him. And he starts his official World Cup campaign in really good fashion. Off the face of the bat, and Styrus gets him in the end, so it didn't prove that costly. Collingwood goes, and England lose their fourth. Straight away in the air, here's a chance, he's out for his ball. In fact, is it Peterson? It is Peterson, on his way. I thought it was Flintoff for a second, but it's even more crucial, and he's just played that chip shot. In the air and he's gone. Flintoff 
Harper's out. He's been done as well. This has been devastating. The last five minutes for New Zealand and England are on the rack. He was out first ball. There's another catch. Has he gone? Yes, he has. Styris has another wicket. That's a good one. Straight down the ground, that eases the pressure. Plunkett can bat and has his first boundary. Well, that's exactly what was needed. It brings 150 up. Into the field, I'd say, along with Flintoff. He's a, a man to rely on. Plunkett down the ground, it's a good shot. He's hit it sweetly and he's hit it all the way. Reverse swept, he's finally got hold of one. He's tried it three times, he's... Failed to connect with a couple, but this one goes all the way. Driven. The man has gone squarer because of Nixon reverse sweeping. And that's good, smart batting from the left-hander with the man square playing the ball. Not out. It's a big shout. Maybe just going down the leg side, there's all kinds of confusion. Plunkett wanted the single in the end. He did about four or five turns on a length. And in the end, at the end of it all, there's no wickets and no runs from that delivery. Should have been his last ball, but... Nassad Rao raises his arm to signal a no ball, it's also gone for four. Sloppy cricket from Patel, who's done so well. Richard Beck on Patel. Consecutive boundaries for Paul Nixon. England lifted at the end of their innings by this excellent partnership between Nixon and Plunkett, who've done it together before. It's 200 for seven now, and we have one over remaining. Beaten mid-wicket, Vincent coming round, throws off balance, two more to Nixon. Final delivery is mishit to extra cover, it just brings Liam Plunkett and England a single. So after 50 overs, England score 209 for seven. an edge and that's the wicket the breakthrough England wanted Lou Vincent has gone edged and caught what a magnificent catch Andrew Flintoff at second well wide first slip takes a terrific catch what a start for England swing bowling from Plunkett inducing the drive and flint up simply superb absolutely fantastic catching at first slip it's a good shot and it's going to go all the way that beats the infield beats Michael Vaughan the first boundary of the innings <laughs> that's a good shot drifting into the legs it's a boundary ball and that's exactly what's happened it's clipped away second boundary for Starris it's under it and it's taken that's the third wicket England have got rid of Stephen Fleming Ed Joyce has taken the catch not easy driven down the ground no need to run for that. That's four from the moment it left the bat. New Zealand seem uh, eager to continue to play their strokes, even though they've lost three early wickets. Scott Styris and Craig McMillan continue to play the shots. I'm sure that's the way to go. Good shot. Not a particularly good delivery. It was short from Anderson. And that was sweetly struck from Stock Scott Styris of all the New Zealand batsmen we've seen so far. He looks in the best touch. 
good shot. Terrific stroke from Styris. It's not an easy pitch to play that shot on, as we saw when Michael Vaughan dragged the ball onto off stump. But that's the third time now Styris has picked off James Anderson. Cross! Himself room again. That's a crunching stroke through the offside. Craig McMillan, as positive as ever, it ends the 13th over. Eight from it, 63 for three. In the air, and that's a loose delivery. It's beautifully chipped away. A drop kick from McMillan. Poor line, 50 partnership for these two in New Zealand are racing on. Will McMillan. This will be taken. Panasar's going to win it straight away. It is taken. McMillan has given an early here. And Panasar is jumping as high as you can, as often as you can. And they're all jumping. McMillan has brought England back into the match. There he goes. And sooner or later, Jacob Oram is going to try and break the shackles. He's done so with a six. Didn't try and overhit it. One day international, 74, I think, on the bounce before today. And, uh, Scott Styris sweeping the ball away. I think that's uh, a good bit of fielding from Kevin Peterson. Technology, he lose it. Sides is going to dive now. He knows he can't. Do it. No, it's actually hit the rope. Edge, and it's just gone wide of Paul Nixon. There's no slip in place, and Oram gets away with one here. Leading into today's game. Oh, that's a terrific shot off the back foot. In fact, that's going to race away for four. Wonderful blow from Oram. As that delivery hit the wicket. Yes! Just uppish. They'll get two for it. Storis will get back to the bowler's end. Uh, just a few moments here where Panasar is causing problems. Yes! On the air. And has he gone? No, he's been put down. What a chance. Is that the chance? Diving forward. Well, it didn't go particularly quickly. And it's a catch that should have been taken. A big moment in the game, this. Where? And he goes for it in that region. The gamble was taken and Styris took the bait and hit it away for four. Well, it's terrific batting from Styris. That's wider. And that's excellent batting. Thrown up. And Scott Styris is playing an innings that could well take New Zealand over the line. He's done well to get that and to hit it as well as that. His game is coming to a conclusion. But he's out. And that's, uh, well, not out of the ground, but it's gone at a fair old rate of knots to the boundary fence. Smashed. We might look for two here as well. And they do. It's good running. Now just a boundary away. Ball, he's deceived. Well, this could be it. Monty Panasar might just get there. No, he won't. Doesn't get there. New Zealand have won this second match in Group C here in St. Lucia. The celebrations will start. But what a magnificent portion, partnership rather, these two boys have put together.